My name is Terry Willingham, and I am the Executive Director for the Foundation for Community Driven Innovation, which is a nonprofit that runs AMROC Fab Lab. the Advanced Manufacturing and Robotics Center. Uh, it is a, one of the chartered fab labs. It's a part of the international fab lab community. And we've been here uh, in the mall for five years now, three years, two years in this location. And what you have is a really mixed use center uh, with a variety of different tools and resources for everything from uh, uh, youth education to adult education, entrepreneurship, STEM education, a variety of different things like that. So we have a computer lab that's accessible to everybody who's in our program. So we have a computer loan program. And so all, all of our programs, if people are lacking tech, we can do computer loans when they complete the program. If they want to com com keep the computers, they can. We have, it's dark in here right now, but we have a STEM lending library. So we can work with uh, teachers and some of our other folks will tell you a little bit more about that. We do professional development for the educators. We loan these out to other organizations. We have STEM kits out right now to the Caribbean American National Development Organization, which is doing its own uh, robotics programs as well this, this summer. So our sewing program is a community sewing program, and it's open to the public. On, we do an introductory to sewing program on Tuesdays and a more advanced program on Wednesdays. We've got presentation areas. This is sort of our general meeting area. Uh, lots of 3D printers, which are actually hard at work right now. Uh, 3D printing some of the parts for our summer camps that the students are making. Uh, marionettes and so they're going to automate those and they're doing a bunch of different things including uh, some of the silhouette die cutter um, materials for their project. It is a full-scale machine shop. Uh, our students and adults all use this room so the students all built the uh, workbenches uh, over the last couple of years. You'll see a variety of different kinds of tools, CNC machines behind me, laser cutters uh, and uh, soldering stations so they can work on a variety of projects. We have hobbyists who use this space that are working on projects. We have entrepreneurs who are working on prototypes. And then we have the students working on various projects as well. And in here, we have the art and die cutter room and the sublimation printer and all that good stuff. And there's Jalise. Well, I'm Jalise and I'm on two teams here. I volunteer frequently at Airmark Fab Lab. I had helped Miss Brandy with um, making something for the uh, for the camp that we're doing currently um, where they're kind of making like a robots in motion stop motion video and we use the silhouette to make the backdrop and all of the different designs so that the lights shine up and it's actually like in motion and so I think that it's like really cool that we can do all these cool things and bring our creativity to life using them in such like an easy and user-friendly way. So I'm Vicki Gonzalez, I am the operations manager here at AMROC and we do a lot of different things with the silhouettes and all the different machines within the space. Some of the things that we have done with the machines here is actually for one of our events, we have MakerCon. So this is the logo that I designed, but I'll cut the stencil on the silhouette machine. This one's a hand painted design. We've actually done vinyl designs as well for shirts, but then we also have the idea that these designs can be translated into different programs and prototypes. So then we have you know, our acrylic awards, and then we also do bags, we have keychains. So we utilize the machines in all different aspects of that. So we just made this box, and this is actually going to be a light up shadow box for the camp that we're having. And so they'll be putting in their cutout cityscape scenery that we'll switch out in here. It'll be backlit so that when they actually go to film, they can have different scenes. I'm Brandi Jackson. I am the Chief Education Officer with ScoutLiar. We're a lesson design and delivery platform that works with innovative thinkers all over the United States. Today we're here at AMROC Fab Lab, one of our favorite places to work and prototype activities. So what we're actually doing today is we're testing out a prototype of a camp that we'd like to run across the U.S. eventually. Um, we're building marionettes and we're learning all about how you create puppetry using advanced tech skills. 
So one of our favorite projects that we're working on this year is we're testing out how to make art more inclusive. Um, it's really working on girls getting more interested in art. So we decided to run a high-tech puppetry camp and we built marionettes. And all these pieces are very simple designs that you can cut from the silhouette. And then once we have a working prototype, we're going to make a 3D printed prototype. So we've got 3D printed robotics this way. We've got students over here that are doing robots and then covering them in paper. And once they have their designs, the idea is that then they'll move it from here into a CAD software where they could cut it out of paper with the silhouette, if they save it as SVG, or they can 3D print it as if they save it as STL. Teaching students that engineering doesn't have to cost a lot of money, you just have to have the skills so that you understand all the different ways to make something. The whole point of this is to create capacity in areas that don't have it, right? By introducing all these tools that people wouldn't ordinarily have access to. So the silhouettes are part of that, so are the, the you know, machine shop tools, um, you know, 3D printers, laser cutter, and things like that. Uh, the point is to be able to provide a variety of tools that people wouldn't ordinarily have access to, and then become proficient in them, and then be able to build your future from that. Mm -hmm.